Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, with that being said, um, before we start, now to everyone that's in Aotearoa, just seen the news and we've had 13 new cases, so that sucks, so stay safe. So we're using raw linseed oil. Couldn't find a container, so I'll just use it like this. So yeah, we'll stain them up. Hopefully this is a good paintbrush. Now we're going to be using pissy yellow. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm really getting sick of this fucking COVID shit. And then, yeah. Mrs. Brooks just told me, yeah, 13 new cases. Oh, this brush ain't that good, though. Hold on. Might just get a rag. Oh no, that's all good. I might use it in the... Um, to get it in the corners. Do you want me to put it closer or is it all good like this? Make sure you're staying safe, yeah. Okay, what we're we gonna do now, we're doing the sinuses. Happy little strokes here and there. How does he do it? All it takes is one simple stroke to start the entire piece being staked. Now if you can see, the grain is starting to give a better contrast from the stain. <laughs> closer. Come a little bit closer, you're my kind of man. So big and so small. Come a little bit closer, I'm all alone. And the light is still young. So now what we're going to do now. Carry on our staining. Now simply with staining, using a simple linseed oil can always show the contrast of the grain as you can hopefully see here, if not, my bad. <laughs> Maybe some a technique we will do is stain the empty brow here, a darker stain so it gives a little contrast for the wood and the design. Now it is said when you stain a carving, you're not finished. When you finish a carving, it's usually the last thing that goes in are the eyes. Now eyes, particular materials particularly used for the eyes, is the abalone shell. Now one thing I will have to do after the stain, we will dig out the excess wood in the eyes and place in the abalone shell. Now as you can slowly see, the linseed oil starts to seep into the grain of the wood and thus showing a different texture to the entire carving. Now as we take our time, let us think on the journey we have taken with this particular piece. It has taken this Brox guy a very long time, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> a lot of posture checks were redeemed, a lot of hydrates were redeemed as well, but also a lot of hair flicks were redeemed. <laughs> now as I now as we stain this one simple thing that comes to mind is oh my <laughs> isn't that right Fanna? 
Now it's good to shake your paintbrush up in between these gaps here, just so you don't miss anything from the pakati. Make sure no spot is left unstained, otherwise you're not a very good stainer. Do we want some uh, ambient background music as we stay? Or are we good just listening to the solitary sounds of my voice? Slap the brush. We will slap the brush very soon. It's unfortunate that Marco Tickleban stains his own undies with a very rare form of staining now you can see now another tip with staining is to also try not to you go too thick just so the stain doesn't flood down the carving and making the vice all rusty You can see these happy little high highs and these happy little pakotis are all stained. Now unfortunately you won't see a happy little cloud on here. Just a happy little mask. Nice happy little mask. Now there has been a request by the pun lord himself for a slow pour. Now a slow pour can sometimes be a waste of linseed oil because it costs over forty dollars for one bottle. But because it is such a special moment for the stream with ASMR I don't see why not. Because I have a half empty bottle on the side that we can use for the lows. What say you, Chet? Now, I would say that this may become a thing for the staining process of our carving. Okay, we have a lot of pores in the chat. Now I will receive I will receive the empty bottle. Do not mind the screaming child. Now we will change the view just for your visual pleasure. Now please do not be alarmed. Hold on to your undies. Now I believe Brox is going to make a return just for the poor. Joe brothers, I'm back. Okay, I don't know who that other guy was, but here we go. So he told me he wanted to pour the remaining of the old linseed oil on, so here we go. I'm just a bachelor looking for a partner someone who knows how to ride without being strong enough gotta be compatible take me to my limits girl when I turn you around <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Now, that was such a waste of linseed oil by that individual there. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, as, as you can see, the carving is dripping quite a lot from the lyrical goodness of Brox himself, but it is still a waste of linseed oil. Now we're just going to give him a light tap. Light tap. That's all we're going to do. Light tap. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Now, because of the tipping from Brox earlier, all the linseed oil is now gathering within the fine little corners, so we can use it as a dipping tray. Now, professionally, I wouldn't do that myself, but who am I to say what Brox can do? Now, let us finish the remaining of the stain, and then hopefully we will receive word from another feature of a celebrity on the Brock stream while he is away. Well, okay ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the staining process with Atten Brox. Now as I can see, there has been a lot of linseed oil wasted on this carving. Now, the particular waste that you can see here is similar to the hyena. Now you see how hyenas waste a lot of the meat that is on their prey. But for now, we use what we can because we are grateful for what we have. <laughs> Boy, our bitches are enjoying this, eh? You're enjoying it, <laughs> yeah, it's a good laugh, fella. Okay, here we go. Now, with myself personally, I don't particularly paint any wood. Now, it is also said, once the carving is finished, it would apply the abalone shell into the eyes, thus bringing the carving to life. Now, the majority of the carving has been stained, but there are still remnants of mishaps from Brox and Edinbrox. So we carry on. Maybe they should just leave painting and staining to a professional. I believe it is someone's birthday today as well. Eat man, happy birthday to you as well. Enjoy the stream as we hijack Brox's stream just to paint, thus staining his entire carving. Now people are requesting for another pour. Maybe we'll do one to the end of the stream just to use up the entire bottle that is almost up. As you can see, simple long strokes between the wood, that's showing off the green. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, releasing, we're reaching the end of the road for the staining process. The eyes will not take long, but it is fine. Now, 
now, ladies and gentlemen. I will be looking away from the phone for a lot longer, just while we stain the mouth. Now, in these times, it is much preferred not to stain your own mouth because you'd have rotten teeth. But particularly with this type of art, it is fine staining the mouth. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, hypes in the chat as we near the end. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Getting up and all in there, making sure it's all covered with the linseed oil. Get a little tip too. There we go. Let it simmer. And Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Oh, I don't ruin the stream. Thanks. Bro, I'm impersonating and you're ruining it. <laughs> but yes, I was. <laughs> no, too late. You ruined it. Hype's gone. Killed it. May as well shove me lunch for your mishaps. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was that easy. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, cars. There it is, guys. <laughs> now, I hope he's got a kick out of that because I'm thinking of doing it every time we stain now. <laughs> I saw he's all having a good laugh. That's what I'm all about, is the good laughs. Sorry I wasn't looking at the camera the, or the phone the entire time. Now if, there, if I missed any subs, um, bits or anything. Oh, and I just dropped my damn, my damn um, paintbrush in the thing, in the bottle. For the lols. Yeah, that's what it's all about, for the lols. Okay, so uh, I just got my paintbrush stuck in, so we got a pull. There we go. Mr. Chen Chen. Hey, brother. How are you? I feel so unsure to make me feel what you do. The dance floor as the music dies. There's something in your eyes. <laughs> Don't judge me, you're crazy. <laughs> okay, guys, yeah, I had to do that just to try and get my paintbrush. Well, that's pretty much him. He's done. Let the bugger dry now. Tonight the music screams so loud. 
Baby, we can lose this crown. Baby, it's better this way. <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. You know I love that song. <laughs> Please keep your caps lock off in both hands on the keyboard. <laughs> Okay, Fano, that's him there. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little fun and lols we had. So what I'm going to do now, yeah, I'll just leave this guy to dry overnight or for the next few days. It'll take a while because of the amount we use, because just was demanding a pour. Do the pour! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's how we'll top the day off. Dude, that was definitely any fans material. <laughs> Way to end the journey. Yeah, yeah. Thank you to everyone that watched this be become something. A mask, in this case. So I'll do the eyes off stream because I don't have the machines to do it. But then we'll install them again and then come back to it. But did you enjoy that? I bet she's like that genuine poor. I'm gonna look at it from your guys' point of view. Ah, it looks not too bad, eh? I think you know use for the sub, you didn't have to. Oh, Mr. Chen Chen, I hope you enjoyed what I did, brother. Cool to see you in here. Did you enjoy that box? I actually did. It's quite funny. Should have seen the big ass grin I had on my face. 